एस्पायरिंग एक्चुअरीज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल द एक्चुअरियल क्वेस्ट आई एम आंचल योर एक्चुअरियल मेंटोर एंड दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नो योर एग्जाम सीरीज इन विच आई ब्रीफ यू ऑन ऑल द एक्चुअरियल सब्जेक्ट वन बाय वन सो आई पिक वन एक्चुअरियल सब्जेक्ट फॉर ईच वीडियो एंड आई गिव यू एन ओवर व्यू ऑफ दैट सब्जेक्ट एज इन वॉट यू विल लर्न फ्रॉम दैट सब्जेक्ट its exam format its recent year pass rates and pass marks prerequisite subject as in which subject you should have already studied before selecting this subject and its application in the actuarial work today's know your exam subject is cs1 so let's get started cs1 and cm1 are two of the most basic yet important initial exams in the ifoa and iai curriculum and these two exams are also important from an entry level job perspective i have already shared the know your exam video on cm1 so if you are deciding which exam to choose between cs1 and cm1 and both these know your exam videos should help in deciding subject cs1 is all about the basic actuarial statistics and probability now if you think uh, actuarial science revolves around probability and statistics because an important part of an actuarial job is to make predictions and estimations of the uncertain future events so in the most general terms actuaries predict into the future by studying the past events all these predictions are only possible with the help of probability and data analysis and statistics and therefore cs1 is an important subject in actuarial science so the syllabus starts with random variables and their distributions random variable any variable that can take values randomly like how many calls can a airtel customer can might receive in the next 1 hour it can be anything from 0 20 30 100 and so on and its distribution would be all the possible values that it can take like if airtel has 5 customers then all possible values would be any integer between 0 to 5 then you'll study the different types of distributions some of them would be discrete distributions which can take only specific values from a range while some other would be continuous distributions which can take any infinite number of values from a range like the number of calls that might be received in the next one hour would be a discrete distribution as it can take only specific integer values between 0 to 5 it cannot take values like 1.5 or 3.25 or 5.67 then there will be different formulas for calculating probabilities and average or mean values of all these different distributions you will also study about the joint or conditional distributions like two different random variables might be related to each other for example how many calls will a single airtel customer care representative might take up in the next 1 hour will be conditional upon the total number of calls that airtel customer care center might receive in the next 1 hour further you will study the central limit theorem so if you pick a sample from any of the distributions and keep on increasing the sample size then the average of all these random samples will belong to a normal distribution and you know normal distribution is one of the most widely used distribution in the actuarial statistics further on you will study the data analysis which is to analyze the data by picking a random sample out of it and study the pattern of data and variables we'll study confidence intervals and prediction intervals since we are estimating based on a random sample our estimation cannot be 100% accurate we don't know what the future holds right there are going to be some errors depending on the quality of data and the sample size and therefore confidence intervals are used like we can be 90% or 95% or 99.5% confident that our estimation is accurate further on you'll also study hypothesis testing and chi square goodness of fit test suppose if you want to know if the number of calls follows an exponential distribution or not then you can use such kind of tests then you will study about regression model simple linear regression model with single variable multiple linear regression models and generalized linear regression models well, i know this sounds too much but here's a small example of linear regression model suppose we want to calculate the salary of an actuary then you can use an equation of a linear regression model for this purpose the salary y could be alpha which is the minimum base salary plus x which is the number of exams passed multiplied by beta 1 which might be the average salary hike by clearing one exam plus y which might be the number of years of experience multiplied by beta 2 which might be the average salary of one year experience and the very easy and scoring section will be on the bayesian statistics 
which mainly covers the base theorem and the credibility premium formula now all these topics will also be assessed practically on our software in a 1 hour and 45 minutes practical exam so be ready for that too. exam format of cs1 is similar to that of cm1 it has two papers paper a is a 100 mark written theoretical exam of 3 hour 15 minutes and paper b is a practical r based exam of 1 hour and 45 minutes both papers are conducted back to back in two consecutive days pass rates and pass marks are also similar to those of cm1 so the difficulty level of both these exams is kind of similar there's no prerequisite subject for cs1 just like cm1 cs1 is also one of the base actuarial paper actually cs1 is a prerequisite subject for cs2 and few of the further subjects like i said actuarial science revolves around probability and statistics and cs1 sets a base for it everything that you will study in this subject are basic terminologies that are developed in the later subjects and then finally used directly in actuarial work also if you're interested in the application of data analytics and data science in actuarial field then this subject would be a great foundation data analytics is picking up great speed in almost every sector and actuarial science is not far behind also our software is widely used in many companies in the actuarial work also like i already told the most widely used distribution would be the normal distribution you'll see its application at various places if your work involves model building and analytics then this subject would be very helpful but most of the companies already have their models built up so you might not see its application there okay that was all about the exam cs1 in the end of this video i will link two more videos one of them would be the know your exam video on cm1 so that you can get an overview of cm1 before selecting between cs1 and cm1 and the other video would be on the first actuarial exam so if you've already decided on which exam to attempt first this video will help you on how to start with the studies and prepare for your exam i will cover all other subjects in the upcoming videos of the know your exam series Please let me know in the comments which subject know your exam video you would like to see next. Then please like and share this video if you found it helpful. Signing off for now. We'll be back soon.